And I want you to guys help me uh, invite Catherine up to the stage. Let's give her a round of applause as she comes in. Amen. Catherine, where are you from? Arizona. What was your life like before deliverance and why were you seeking deliverance? Um, well, because I know I come from a bloodline of very strong generational curses. Um, I knew about the spirit of Jezebel in my bloodline, the witchcraft, and my entire life has been extremely difficult from childhood all the way up. I just grew up with a lot of abuse. Um, rejection and everything like that. I experienced some severe trauma in my life. Um, like 16, 17, and it, it kind of led me into the adult entertainment industry. I was radically saved in 2017 and knew that I was struggling daily to press into my walk. Um, I would see other believers, you know, that could just get in the word and just automatically receive things. And I, it wasn't that easy for me. I knew there was something really heavy you know, press just on top of me and inside of me. I felt like my soul was locked in a cage. I couldn't escape it all the way, you know? Um, so I was very desperate just for the freedom from that. So I could, you know, have the download of the word of God easily, like get up with ease and not have to fight and fight and fight and fight and fight just to feel the presence of God, you know? When I first got here in the prayer line, when I was waiting to come in here, I had so much anxiety in my stomach and I actually wanted to run out of the building and I came expecting like the woman who bled for 12 years, but there was a spirit inside of me telling me, no, you're not going to get delivered. You need to just run out of the building. But I fought, you know, I fought. It was like fighting. I was telling my friend, I feel like I'm fighting through the crowd right now, like that woman, you know? Um, so immediately like my body just kind of flew up and then boom, went down and then it just started manifesting. I don't even know. I lost control and I was screaming and... Um, I woke up and I wrote, read Proverbs chapter 5 this morning and literally it downloaded in me so fast, so easy, like the revelation came, I was like not even having to think about it, like I heard God in my ears speaking, like no matter what, remember this, remember this, God sees you through his eyes, not through the world's eyes, not through the devil's eyes, the devil is a liar, he's a liar. And if you believe that you're gonna get delivered from the things that have held you captive and your entire family captive, it will happen. Even if you hear those voices say, no, 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 no. I'm believing for this. I am believing for this. You need to press in and just say, I'm believing it. Even if you don't feel it, don't even go with that. Say, no, that's still a lie, devil. You're a liar. You're not gonna take any more of my life. My life will be restored from this day forward. Decree and declare that over yourselves right now. Today you will be delivered. I never thought I was going to get this type of deliverance. I thought I was going to have to live the rest of my life like this. And now I woke up this morning and God said, you're free. Your family's going to get set free. If there's freedom. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow, Catherine. You know what? You're going to be a preacher in Jesus' name. I just prophesy that to you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Let's give it up for Catherine. What a brave.